Well, hello, thank you for joining me. Check out this map. Look at these little imaginary orange circles. Now, in real life or on a globe, they would all be the same shape and size. And what they do is give us an indication of how a projection squishes and squeezes and stretches and cuts the globe in order to make a flat map. How do we project? What gives? You can see here that these are stretched out increasingly as you diverge from the equator and get closer to the poles. That's because these lines of longitude are being stretched apart so that they form a nice convenient grid. But look what it does to the world. It stretches it out. That's a projection. Something's got to give. Check it out. In the properties of this map, I can change this projection, which happens to be plat carré, which means flat square in French, um, to, I mean, there's just a kajillion of them, right? And they all have a different purpose and show a different characteristic of whatever data that you might be mapping. Um, and sometimes it can be a little bit hard to choose. What do I want? Well, if you have an idea about the sorts of things that you want to maintain in the geographic area of your map, then there's an option that will help guide your choices and make a little bit of a customized projection for you. I'll show you how that works. So let's zoom into the Caribbean or uh, like Central America here. Let's say we're making a map of Central America and we'll open up the coordinate system picker. There's a little mysterious button here called add coordinate system, add coordinate system. And there's some options here, but what I want to do is have ArcGIS Pro suggest one to me and kind of tweak it and make a new one. So I'll choose this and that opens the dialogue. And the first question is what uh, underlying coordinate system do you want to use for your map? And you can pick this and choose any of the existing projections that are available to you. Um, let's say ooh, equal earth, which is a really wonderful new projection and it'll pull in the underlying geographic coordinate system for that projection so now we're working with WGS 84 world geodetic system created in 1984 anyways that's what that means everybody loves it and by default it'll take the extent of my map view which is actually really handy um, so I mean if it didn't I could click current visible extent I could also set it to the extent of any layer that I happen to have in my map which is great and you know what I can just tweak this directly here if I wanted to so options abound now and I think the coolest feature is what do I want to maintain in my map um, any projection is gonna really just hose some uh, spatial geographic aspect um, do I want to maintain area do I want it to be kind of a mix of things or um, equal distances would be maintained. I'm going to do equal area. Okay. And so if I choose this, the ArcGIS Pro robot, the ProBot says, I have computed, you should probably use cylindrical equal area. I'll stop talking like a robot. And it'll set all of these projection parameters for me based on the fact that I want to maintain equal area and I want to have the extent of this. I'll just hit, let's call this equal Central America. I'll hit save and now it's added to my list of projections. It's a custom projection that Pro just made for me. I'll hit apply. Now I have got my own sweet little custom projection maintaining equal area because I asked it to. Okay, have fun. Let it guide you. Let it teach you and happy mapping.